morning everybody so today we're going to be learning about um uh, the earth's tilt and its revolution around the sun and how that affects um how much sun each area gets so first of all you already know we talked about this briefly last lesson but we're going to take it in detail right now the earth's axis is not a straight line okay it's actually tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees this is the angle okay so because it has a tilt this affects how much sunlight uh, the areas are getting when it moves around the earth so first thing you got to know here is the earth is tilted 23.5 degrees okay now look at that as earth orbits the sun because the earth moves around the sun so this is the sun and the earth is moving around the sun so as earth orbits the sun the area of the earth pointed is pointed more toward the sun changes okay because the earth is always tilted in the same direction let, let's look at that let me let me explain so the earth is tilted like that okay and i'm gonna put the tilt over here now look here this is the northern hemisphere and it's tilted away from the sun if you notice here the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun here the southern is tilted towards here the southern is tilted away okay I'm gonna write it this way it's tilted away Lish, when the earth moves from here to here which is in six months because the earth takes one year to complete this round trip so from here to here it takes six months the way it's tilted bit rayer, okay let's look at that in more details all right um actually here's more details we'll come back to this in a minute so this is the northern hemisphere this is like kind of zoomed in and they're showing you the earth in, uh, in two different places so this is place number one the northern hemisphere is tilted away okay it points away so the southern points towards the sun here the northern points towards here the southern points away they're the opposite so when the northern hemisphere points towards the sun the southern hemisphere points away from the sun seasons in the southern hemisphere are opposite to the seasons in the northern hemisphere now if you don't know north and south okay this is basically this is the north this is the south this is the north this is the south we call this the northern hemisphere this is the southern hemisphere this is the northern this is the southern who is tilted or which area is tilted towards or away from the sun okay in december okay it's winter in Canada, but it's summer in Australia. Canada's up and summer here. So in December, it's summer here because here it's closer to the sun. Here it's winter because it's further away from the sun. Okay? Let's go back here. So this is how you can see the seasons. This is fall. This is spring. This is summer. This is winter. The northern tip, this is the northern tip of the earth's axis sometimes points towards the sun like here in may and sometimes points away from the sun like here in december this tilt causes the earth's seasons this is why we have seasons because the tilt and the rotation so we have two reasons why we have seasons okay reason number one is the earth's tilt and reason number two is the earth's rot revolution around the sun so the annual earth is tilted and because it moves around the sun this tilt changes how much sun the earth is getting in each area so this is what causes the seasons okay and you need to know here that north and south have opposite seasons because when north is pointed away from the sun south is pointed towards when north is pointed toward the sun south is pointed away that's why they have opposite seasons that's why when you have 
winter in Canada, you have summer in Australia. When you have summer in Canada, you have winter in Australia. And the other way around. Now let's look at that. Let's look at this exercise that will explain more what we were talking about. So the number of hours of daylight changes as the Earth revolves around the sun. This change is a result of the Earth's tilt. لأنه the Earth is tilted, في عنا أوقات النهار تختلف. يعني the number of hours during the day, okay, becomes different. Let's look at this, for example. They told you to complete this, okay? Complete that uh, exercise. Let's read that before. Because the, because of the tilt, areas pointed toward the sun have more hours than those pointed away from the sun. Now, let's look. Here, we notice, so dark is here, and then this is the um, axis. We notice that in the north, okay, it's tilted towards the sun, and the sun is here. This is where the sun is coming from. So the north is tilted towards the sun and the south is tilted away. the darkness, here we have darkness. Here we have kind of more light. So if we have to fill this out, okay, if we have 15 hours here, we have to cross this is crossed out there, 15. 24 would have to be up here. Why? Because they have literally, an, an, in this position where the earth is, on this day, Okay, no matter how much the earth turns, this part doesn't get dark, okay, because of the earth's tilt. And this part is not getting any light, so this would be zero. And then it would be going gradually. So this would be 12, and it, this would be 9, because, because of the earth's tilt. Around the globe, you have different hours of the day, okay? That's why... Sometimes uh, in Ramadan, okay, when you have to, f when you're, you're fasting and then you're going to be eating at like, let's say 7, you have a friend who's living in Canada, but they have to eat at 9. Okay, how come they have to eat at 9? It's because the sun goes down at 9 there. Maghrib is at 9 over there. Okay, why is that? Because of the tilt of the earth and the different hours around the earth's region. Okay. Let's see what we still have. That's it for today. The other ones are for uh, another day. If you have any questions, please ask. Please finish the class instructions. Good luck.